most famous person that you've talked to? Oh no. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Hmm. Yeah. This hurts! <laughs> I can't I can't handle this. You can look it. What's up? I'm your host, Jolie Live. I'm Emily Harrigan. And I'm Hannah White. And, and we're, we're playing, playing Pucker, Pucker Up. up. <laughs> the game where I ask the internet's most sour questions and guests try not to pucker up. Hello! Hi. Boy. <laughs> like, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm so glad you're on Pucker Up. That's We're just so happy to be here. We, I <laughs> yes. got in this morning and this was the first thing I'm doing today, so... Do you guys have a lot of tolerance to sour candy? I love sour stuff, so I'm just gonna mm. keep eating them just for fun. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a huge sour person, but it's better than spicy, so... Do you like candy? Yes. I don't really eat candy, but I would say my favorite candy is actually sour gummy worms, so I like Okay, sour so stuff. this is like, this is, that's like a warm up to this. Yeah. Because the candy's really sour. I'm more Great. of a chocolate person, but. <laughs> so you're gonna spin it, you're done. Yeah, she's, done. you're done. Yeah, she's done. You're, you're done. done. Okay, so there's six levels. As you know, the candies get more sour as you go, and so the questions get juicier. <laughs> Great. Are you guys gonna answer everything? Um, I'm gonna answer what I can without getting myself in trouble. So. I can't promise anything. <laughs> I'm gonna answer as much as possible to make it interesting. Okay, we're gonna go with the super lemon. So the super lemon is level one. Okay. Go for it. Oh, my God. oh, here we go. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. Ready? Oh, a little sour. <laughs> Which sport has the hottest athletes and most importantly, what team? Oh, mmm. I I love football players. <laughs> love football. Um, team. Oh. I'm, mm, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't say there's one team. Like yeah. I don't usually. I can. I would say. I need to think about this because I don't have like a team that I go for. I usually just like disperse. <laughs> you like all teams. I like all teams. I'm a team player. <laughs> think of one. You have to name a team. But you said football players. So, what about you, Miss Quiet, over here? I'm thinking. I always would lean more towards basketball, but okay, just because I've always played basketball, I think. But football has football has a gun. But so. I don't think one team is really yeah. like, oh my god, they're all yeah, beautiful. Yeah, they're not like one team. They're like, like each of them through. have a couple. I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Okay, name a couple on the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> what is your hometown? Yeah, team? Emily. What's your home team? Are you Steelers Mine too? Be Steelers, I guess. Okay, go ahead. Name some Steelers. <laughs> no, no, they're not. They're not cute anymore. They all got like traded and stuff. Okay. <laughs> basketball. Who's your basketball team? I don't have a basketball team, honestly. Fine. Name a basketball player though that you think is a draft. Kind of like any of them. I think Jalen Hurts is beautiful. Yeah. He's a beautiful man. He is a beautiful man. He is a beautiful man. He is a <laughs> very <laughs> beautiful man. Yeah. Jalen Hurts. That would be mine. Um, so Philadelphia Joe Burrow. Eagles. Yeah, I'll say the Eagles. Joe Burrow. Okay. Is very attractive. There we go. See him. So you're a Bengals fan? Mm hmm There we go. Okay, fine. You answered you answered well. Football, I'll basketball, try. kind of football. Yeah. Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts. Yeah. Okay. Just Have you ever me. talked to either of them? No. No. Okay. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does he have a girlfriend? Because I would change my answer. I don't pay attention. Like I don't, I don't talk know to if my he does. girlfriend. I think he does. I think he does. I think he does. From school. Yeah. 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 So then no. Then <laughs> Maybe as a friend. Good pal. Yeah, good pal. Okay, ready for the next one? Uh huh. Yeah. Go for it. You only have to eat one, even I though they're small. I can't like, get this out. <laughs> Dump it? Oh my god. Yeah, you can't even need to. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> my whole hand is stuck in here. The pink's the most. <laughs> I only feel like I stare at you like you have five heads when I don't know how to answer this question. Okay, That's name terrible. the top three male athletes in the world and the top three female. But. You have to name one of them that you think you could potentially beat them in their sport. Okay, well, for male, I'm going to go strictly soccer and say okay. Messi, Ronaldo, and Neymar. <laughs> All right. You yeah. know, I'm just a soccer fan. Which one could you beat? Which one could I beat? Uh, <laughs> potentially. Probably Neymar. He's hurt a lot. Okay. LeBron. Okay. Kobe. She's picking basketball. I know. This I is funny. I was in basketball, bro. Um... You have to do females, don't forget. I know, I'm trying to come up with them. So LeBron, Kobe, and let's go Neymar. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you could beat him too? 
Yeah. yeah. Have I seen her upper ninety? My, my upper ninety. Yeah. I mean, if you guys would see that video, you would say there's no doubt about it. We're gonna insert it in the in the video so everyone can see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, females, I guess. Sydney McLaughlin. I think she's okay. Incredible. Um, I agree with that statement. Let's do. See, I want to say Alex Morgan just because I'm a huge fan. That's fine. That's fair. Uh, I feel like maybe on an off day I could beat her. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. It really depends. <laughs> and then one more. Um, what's another sport? I feel like I need to branch out from just soccer. See, I don't really pay attention to women's basketball. I no offense. I just never. Yeah. It's really been my sport. Ray Burrell. <laughs> she was on Pucker. Oh yeah. You know, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say her, <laughs> but I can't beat her. <laughs> can't beat her. <laughs> Who else is good female? I, mine would be. I think Caitlin Clark is really far. Up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Caitlin Clark. Yeah. What is your opinion on all, like, Angel Reese and everybody right now? I love them all. Yeah. I think they're doing great. They're really making a name for women's basketball. That is true. That is very true. It changed everything. Honestly, though, like, even for me, somebody who hasn't watched women's basketball yeah. a lot, like, yeah. I know the names and, like, I see the stuff that they're doing and it kind of, like, draws me in a little bit more. So it's yeah. kind of cool to see. Yeah. Name one. What college did you go to? I went to Cleveland State and now at WVU. Okay. Name your best athlete you think that came out of the school and name the best athlete you think that came out of Pitt. Okay. I would say either, well, can I say two? Yeah. Okay, I would either say Jordan Addison or Kenny Pickett. Both. They were both really good. Both Kenny great. as well. I have to say Kenny because um, Steelers, obviously. Yeah. And I went to school with him, and we were, we're friends. And then Jordan Addison is just incredible. He does really good stuff. He's fast. <laughs> He's fast. He's really fast. <laughs> <laughs> he was always fun to watch, but then he obviously transferred. So I went to school with him for, like, very... Did you ever see him at class? No. Or at Kenny? Did no. you ever see him? No. I was only there for like a year and a half, so yeah. I never really got to like see them. But I went to Rutgers too, and um, True. Isaiah Pacheco does really we well. We love him. Yes. He does really well. Super Bowl ring? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know much of them, honestly. <laughs> like, I you can say you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for WVU, I would say probably, what's his name, like Geno Smith. Oh, the quarterback? Yeah. For the Seattle <laughs> Seahawks. Didn't, didn't he come up? Didn't he go to WU? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Did he? Yeah. yeah. He's so, pretty good. Yeah. He's, I don't he's know. Pretty good. That's the only name I know. Was Geno Smith, <laughs> the Seattle <laughs> Seahawks quarterback. Whatever his name. <laughs> Him. We, he's a good one. He's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> like it. <laughs> Trial run. Okay. You both are huge athletes yourself. Do you have any regrets? When it comes to sports, and do you wish that you went pro? Okay. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm big on um, not having regrets, and I think that everything happens for a reason. So for me, personally, my first college game I ever set foot in, I tore my hamstring, and then kind of dealt with injuries over the next couple of years, and then COVID happened and everything. So I wouldn't say I necessarily have regrets, but I wish that obviously things didn't happen the way that yeah. they did because yeah. it was terrible. Uh, do I wish I went pro? Again, I feel like everything happens for a reason where yeah. I'm in the position I am today for a reason and just the way that things played out. So I don't wish I went pro. I mean, sometimes I was out at the Olympic Training Center last week and I was like, wow, this is a little depressing yeah. being in that setting. But yeah. Yeah. no, I don't, I don't wish I went pro. I think I'm in the position I am today just because of how things played out. So. So mine was kind of the same deal. I mean, you I got hurt too. Yeah, I don't have any regrets. I tore my ACL. Oh my God, bunch of ACLs, knee, knee injuries on top of that. So like, if I would regret anything, it'd be not being able to play yeah. because of that. But other than that, like, I don't have any regrets because I agree with her. With everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So and if I wouldn't want to play pro, I don't think. I think I'm happy with where I'm at now. Yeah. But yeah. Do you guys think, like, you both were injured, obviously, and athletes that get injured in college, like, that's all a huge adjustment because of you. that's your life yeah. forever. So what, how did you get over being hurt? It was if it's a deep really question. Yeah, like, how do you for me, handle that? I think this is something I talk about a lot, but I was in a five-year relationship, which at the time, like, really, I feel like was not super healthy. And then on top of that, COVID was happening and I was hurt and I was five hours away from home and dealing with injuries that I never dealt with before yeah. ever. I grew up playing and I maybe had two ankle sprains. And then to, put, to play in my first college game ever and turn my hamstring, I was like, what, what the hell is happening yeah. here? What are you <laughs> Yeah, so it's kind of, it was a lot. And um, I think that's why I ended up transferring is because I needed a fresh start. And I remember I had all intentions of going back to 
my school, Rutgers, and this was after our season got canceled because of COVID, then we played and like things were just weird. Yeah. I left my stuff there and I remember waking up one day and telling my parents, I was like, I just need a fresh start. Like, yeah. I don't know what's going on, I'm going through the motions. So I think recognizing that I was struggling and using my resources and, you know, I ended up transferring and my life completely did a 180. I got rid of my ex, and, you know. <laughs> you loved him at all. Part of it. <laughs> um, but I think just making small adjustments for myself and recognizing that I wasn't okay and admitting that rather than yeah. just trying to put up a front the whole time. So I think that was the biggest thing for me that helped me get through my injury. Yeah. But Mental is the hardest part of the injury. Like the whole physical part, like rehab and everything, like that's hard. But the mental part, it, even coming back to the sport after and like mentally thinking like, okay, if I jump, am I going to tear it again? Yeah. Like you don't know. And still to this day, like we were, we went, um, we played, what's it called? Slam ball. Yeah. And we were jumping on the that. trampolines and I was like thinking in my head, like, oh my gosh, my knee feels unstable. Am I going to tear <laughs> it again? <laughs> I've done before. I'm like, all right, I'm going to start stretching yeah. now. Yeah. Start yeah. Yeah. Stretching now before we go out there. So I feel like it never goes away. Like the whole, it's always going to be there. It's just like yeah. being mentally strong enough to not think about it every second, especially when you're playing your sport, like during the game. If you're, yeah. if you're thinking about that the whole time, you're not going to be able to focus on playing the game. So that's yeah. like the hardest part. Ready for level four? Is yeah. This yep. Okay. Let's Do see. I try a different color this time? I keep going blue. I'll go this one. It's not that tower. Okay. Fine. Oh, it, 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 wait. It's hitting me. <laughs> it, it hits you a little bit later. Oh. Okay. Pull up your Instagram or TikTok or both. What is one picture that you think is the best on your profile? Explain why in your best TikTok video. Mm. And what's one that guys like the most when they follow you? Mm. <laughs> You know how guys follow you and they always like one, one or two? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I feel like they always go like deeper back so that people don't see it. 2018, yeah. they're like, You're Yeah. Right. My first I picture heard. ever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's like, this will get her. One that people like the most, I don't know, I feel like this one has gotten a lot of love. But Is I that really your just favorite? Think it's like, I love that yeah, one. Yeah, I thought it was cute. Bomb. Like a little, like, um, I have to show the camera. I feel like, I don't know, like, spies? let's go to the football game. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the football game and see other football boys. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, my favorite, my personal favorite one that did not really get a ton of love. I'm kicking a 45 yard field goal. Okay, and like, <laughs> let me know how many girls can actually kick a 45 yard field goal. Uh, I, I I couldn't name one. Can you? It, no. It didn't no, even get 10,000 likes. I'm like, hello. What do you want me to do? Like, yeah. kick 80? What? I'm confused. I think this is my favorite picture. Which one is that? The basketball one. That one's so fire, of you. Yeah, I like, I like that one. one a lot. That one's um, very fire. I like like the whole little. Everything, like, you know, like, like all sexy together. athlete. Yeah, it is giving sexy athlete. It's, yeah, <laughs> sexy athlete. Um, my favorite TikTok. This is actually like the first TikTok I ever posted. Is it and, pinned? Oh yeah, that's yeah. Good. This is the first one I ever posted. It was like in 2020. Yeah. Whenever I um, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make a TikTok, yeah. and I just put all these pictures together. It was this one. And oh my god, your basketball content. Yeah, yeah it was my first so one that like everyone. I was like went viral. I was like, and it's just pictures going yeah, through. Yeah, just pictures. Of course, all my beauty pictures. queens. Literally, of course. Must be nice. Yeah. To you both oh. are. Oh gosh. Do you like watermelon? I can tell. No, like, I really don't. Like don't. I can tell with a feeling that they're gonna be bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Start asking questions. One, two, three. Okay, so you have to answer five of seven to oh. not eat another one. Oh my god. What was your last Instagram search? Who do you who do you want to wake up to a text from? Who is one person that you always wanted at your games? What? Who gives you the best boy advice? Oh my god. Who, who are you so currently terrible. obsessed with? And show a random video in your camera roll that you know would get you in trouble. Oh my god. Oh, I know one for this girl right here. <laughs> Jesus. That makes sound so bad. That one will never be so good. And there's a couple extras, but I'm not going to name them because I want you guys to answer all of those. Okay. Okay, who's your last Just search on Instagram? Not taste like watermelon. I gotta look. <laughs> At all. And don't exit out because we will see your fingerprints exit them out. Mm -hmm. I think I was seeing if this kid still follows me because I keep telling him. <laughs> I keep, like, he keeps asking me to hang out in Pittsburgh and I keep saying no. Okay. So, I, and he said he was done with me, so it's technically <laughs> he was following me or so. But, or if he's done with you. It's just some kid from Pitt. I'm not giving you all, all of them away. <laughs> <laughs> you said here's every search on my Instagram. Yeah. Does he still follow you? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're good. We're, he yeah. didn't give up. Mm -hmm. He didn't give up. I'm like a chipmunk right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good one. Hannah. <laughs> There's like, that's a good I one. I know. Okay, okay so who is it? It's actually hilarious because... It's not hilarious, I just got kidnapped. Yeah. But no, okay, so okay. like, 
Cool. Mm-mm. It's this guy named Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very, very juicy. But basically, he tried to abduct Emily oh, by luring her in, saying that, like, this guy... This big soccer star. Yeah. It was like his agent or friend that was inviting okay. us to this yeah. thing. And then I asked the guy, the soccer star, and um, he was like, send me screenshots. I'm going to be in Cabo this weekend, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, and I'm he's like, like, I don't know who that guy is. So, Roberto, if a Roberto ever DMs you, watch out. Don't yeah, answer. Don't, so yeah, trouble. don't answer. That's so scary. Oh, yeah. That's this just happened. weird. Today. Yeah. It did, yeah, she just. So I was Anna driving, and I was like, Hannah, his name is again. Roberto. It's like, like Roberto Ninety. It should be a red flag just because his name is Roberto. Yeah, yeah. like just don't, yeah. don't answer. Yeah, just don't. Answer. We got invited to some gathering in Beverly Hills that is not occurring, so don't go. Yeah. If anyone asks, if you have an event later to in Beverly Hills, don't don't, don't, yeah. don't go to it. <laughs> don't go to it. Okay, who do you want to wake up to a text from? Um, no one. <laughs> Absolutely, my mom. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not gonna name drop. But all right. Um, there's a man on the Steelers. Uh, if he texted me, I'd probably be happy if he texted me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be mad. Honestly, he doesn't use social media much where he probably won't see this anyway. So Cool. Until I send it Until to him. Until his little friends probably send it to him. Until I tag him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the roster. <laughs> no, I don't know which one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. There's 12. Anyway. There's its top three that you like a text from. Okay, wait. Who do you want to come watch your games? I have to eat this right now. <laughs> yep. This is really bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you should answer the question. Yeah. Who do I want to come watch my games? You could have gave a hint. Yeah. She's debating it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just say... Okay. <laughs> My tongue hurts. It's okay. It's okay. It's just torture. Um, okay. What is the question? Do you want to come watch? Who do you want to come watch your games? Hmm. Do you need another? Need another? Because you're gonna name the same guy. Okay, I don't want to come watch my games. Um, I don't know. Why would you say like? I would like Messi to come watch my games. Honestly, I saw. I saw one of his games before in person, so I would like him to see one of mine. You go to Miami? Is it um, he no, play? Well, he, he does now. Play for I'm Miami working now. on it. I would like to go. <laughs> One time I posted a TikTok about like you know like the thank you to my man song. Yes, like, yes. Oh my god, a reason to go to Miami, and people were like, he has a wife and kids. It's not I'm that like, deep. I was it's, like, I'm just. I just want to see him play. Watch him play. <laughs> god, people are crazy. <laughs> Who do you think I am? People, that would be sick though if Messi actually watched you play soccer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you ask him to play with you? Like yeah. Okay, next one. What's a video? Oh, we don't have to do this. No, we are not done. Oh my gosh, we I are forgot, not I done. A What's video? a video in your phone that would expose you? <laughs> I don't even have anything. I just really can't. There's, I really can't. <laughs> I literally don't even have any, anything that would expose you. I do. Yeah, I know she does. <laughs> like, do you think I do? Like, what, what's oh one you can think of? My tongue is going to be like bleeding after this. Yeah. That's your fault. Wait, do I have to show the camera? Or can I show you? No, you can show me. All right. I'll, I'll sh- explain it to the camera. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. But you guys I both have answers, and like... I have to eat one. My tongue might bleed. No, I know. It, it hurts. Like, the side of my mouth hurts. I Wait, I'm about to find it. Sorry, I have so many pictures. Oh, my <laughs> Did you know you screenshot that? Yes. Boom. You ready for the last one? Yeah. I'll allow three out of the five. Whatever. Okay. Go for the last Wait. one. That does hurt. Yeah. All right, Hannah. Oh. This one's oh worse. Oh my god. <laughs> my no, mouth not. hurts. No, it's not worse. My tongue's already. I'm gonna ask a question. All right. Who is the most famous person that you've talked to? Oh no. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Hmm. Yeah. This hurts. <laughs> I can't. I can't handle this. You can lick it. <laughs> All right. <coughs> the most famous person I've talked to. Yeah. Was Neymar. What did you talk to him about? Soccer. Soccer. <laughs> Soccer. Soccer. I guess like a. I mean, a conversation's a conversation. Mm-hmm. 
He's like a soccer god. I had to. I would have too. Uh -huh. I would have too. For conversation. <laughs> For conversation purposes. He just talked about soccer. Mm -hmm. cool. A lot of soccer. <laughs> There's a lot to catch up about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. Football god. In the soccer world. Semi football. Sorry. Football, yes. Football, sorry. sorry I call it that. soccer and every, like, everything I post, I call it soccer. I get roasted, so. Hannah. <laughs> Are you going to answer? Um, yeah. Like, <laughs> talk to as in, like, just, like, friendly? Yeah, I just said I had a conversation about soccer. Just a com combo. Um, I guess Jake Paul. Okay. Yeah. Would you talk to Jake about? We were, we were going to do this collab because he's from Cleveland and, like, I played at Cleveland, so. Yeah. yeah. What year? Were you gonna do the collab Last like recently? Year. Yeah, like this year. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I just didn't end up doing it. In Puerto it, Rico. Like, in Puerto Rico. Isn't that where he lives? Would you have gone to Puerto Rico? Or oh, were you gonna do it in no, Cleveland? In Cleveland. Oh, okay. Did he DM you? Yeah. His you just said agency. Yeah. yeah oh. His agency. Did better. And then he did. Oh. And then we were trying to figure it out, but I didn't. I was in Arizona. She's busy. Yeah. What were you in Arizona for? Just with my friends. Doing what? Having fun. <laughs> What well, kind of fun? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> During Super Bowl fun? What? During the Super Bowl? No. Did you go to the Super Bowl? No. Did you go to the Super Bowl? No. I want to. Did go you to go to the Super Bowl? Bowl? I did go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, she's cool like that. She's cool like that. <laughs> no, I didn't go to the actual Super Bowl. Mm -mm. But why were you in Arizona? To have fun with what? Your friends? Yes. Literally just to have fun. <laughs> just with your friends. Just with your friends. <laughs> were any of your friends male? Um, no. Oh, boring. Mm. Next, next question. <laughs> next question. That was annoying. Okay, well, you gonna finish that? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Anything we need to get off our chest? Now we're good. We're gonna keep that there. <laughs> okay, did you enjoy Pucker Up? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm in pain. Yeah. But besides that, it was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Thanks You're, for great. Having You're us. a great host. I was gonna say, great host. 10 out of 10. Would recommend to a friend. Yeah.